yellow. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new Let's Play with your old circuit cultist here. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. Why, oh, why am I starting this game? Didn't I say I'd get back to recording the usual stuff, you know, like System Shock, Lords of the Fallen? Well, I am, but I'm also throwing this game into a mix because I need to wish somebody a happy birthday. That's right, my sister grows a year older as of uh, yesterday being the 23rd. So this is kind of for her. Now, of all games, you're probably wondering, mm -hmm. why AIDS Odyssey? Or, as this game is known now, New and Tasty, which is basically Abe's Odyssey, the HD remaster. Well, Follow the reason it. is, back Wait. when we were younger, we Follow did not get along. But then, lo and behold, one day I find a little game inside a, inside a discount bin. And I try it, and I can't get past it. No matter what I did, I was having trouble at one particular spot. And then finally, my pride gave out, and I handed the controller over. Sure enough, my sister was able to get past it, no problem. But then she gets stuck. And so, we actually learned the magical, wonderful art of sharing the controller to actually try and get through places. And that actually started with us getting along. So, it's actually thanks to this game that we can stand each other. You're probably all thinking, that's kind of sad. Well, you know what? To the two of us, it is the funniest and truest shit ever. So, let's go ahead and see how this game has changed over the years. I, I can't really record the original. The original was for PlayStation. And I don't have anything to record TV. So, I guess we'll do with this one. Besides, it's not like this is the first time I started with an HD remaster. Crazy! <laughs> Alright, so we got difficulties. Uh. Ah! For players who'd rather enjoy scenery than dodge bullets and teeth. Nah, we're gonna go with, uh. We're gonna go with, uh, normal here. Let's see. Sure shot slicks, deadly creatures, lethal traps, and. Classic health. Huh? Classic health? What the hell is classic health? Yep. Follow me. One hit, you die, right? Okay, uh, basic controls. Now, I'll say this, I have tried to actually record this several times already, but NVIDIA and Bandicam, I actually showed up for Bandicam, wouldn't really cooperate with me, so, uh, yeah. But this time I'm using NVIDIA again. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully. And now our story begins. And this already looks more amazing. This is Rupture Farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. Still has beautiful environments. Looks a lot dorier than I remember. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. me. My name is Abe. I was employee of the year. Now I'm dead meat. I cross the meanest boss in the world. Mullet the Glucken. He also sounds different. My whole life changed in just one day. I was working late one night 
at Rupture Farms. We used to make beach munchies. Until the beaches were through. We still made paramite pies. Now, we're in Eldritch Abomination flavors. And we made some good scrap cakes, too. Tastes like hell. I thought I had a good job, but that was before I knew how we'd make new and tasty. Okay, title drop, done. Fine. We don't need to see any more. Drop the title, roll credits, we're done. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. The Gluckins were scared because profits were grim. Parents surprised we can actually hear had been turning up thin. But Mullet was cool. All right, but he had a plan. <laughs> this new kind of meat? <laughs> it was us! And I'm disappointed! Whatever happened to the severed head? Hey, that used to be a severed head with a popsicle stick! Dude, that just looks like ice cream. I just had to escape. I just had to be free. But I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here! Will do, Abe! And that is called a slig. of this game. A lot of good memories. And uh, also, if it weren't for my sister, I would have discovered so many secrets. Like this one. That's right, a secret right there. Imagine that. Let's see. Uh, first thing we want to do. So, yeah, the whole purpose is 
to get these guys out and get them to the bird portal at the bottom. Oh god, that was so close. So, best thing already is that these guys actually follow instruction. discovered completely by accident by the way also this was always pretty fun in the original there was only one sling and you couldn't possess it because it was on a grid based system uh this would be one block and then this would be another block so the idea that the levels actually transition real well and it's all just one linear area. Well, I say the area's transition. There is no transition. It's all fluid. So, yeah. And that is the sign that he just fell to his death. No talking to your fellow employees. Oh yeah? Well, I'll talk all I want. Right. Bombs! Kind of clear you want to avoid them. You can sneak around, too. Always a good thing. sister discovered, except instead of a lever, it was a ring that you had to pull. And you had to be super fast, because you had to pull it right over here. But... Now, this is something that actually took me a bit when I was trying to record and failing miserably. So, got to, uh... Gotta find out how to use grenades. 
So in the original, you had to hold down the action button and point in a direction with the D-pad. But this uses the uh, control sticks. So... BAM! Take that! grid-based system for the level design in this game. Uh, so once you left certain areas, you lost all your stuff. And this one, remember those bombs we picked up? We still have them. That's right. We still have them. Also, this is something else. Uh, so you see that slick in the background? Now we could enchant here and uh, sort of control him. But, notice how he can't really see us right now. Notice how he started shooting at me. Yeah, that's right. This game has always had a cover system. And in the first game, it was kind of dicey. It was really hard to try and figure out. In this one, it's a lot more... Uh, Clear because the original game used pixels. It, it, it was a very pre-rendered, low-res background that you had to put up with. And it was a pain to deal with. Also, 
Uh, in the original game, there were shadows that you had to hide in, but it was really tough to figure out what shadows existed and which ones would, uh, would allow the slick to see you anyway. And it was just a big pain. In this one, we have steam. <laughs> and sometimes the life of Sligius Maxis. Hey there. Hello. Follow the bird. Okay. You would not see that guy if you didn't play the original. Okay. In fact, the first time in the original that like I said, this was all shadow instead of steam. So the first time we saw me and my sister, we saw a little shadow there, but we had no idea what in the world it was. And of course, she was the one that took the risk and was like, I think that's a guy we have to save. And lo and behold, I now know that it was a guy we were supposed to save. We don't need to have everybody go into the portal at once. Because, uh... Okay, so... Right now, uh, going to save these guys. So... Remember how I said there was a part where I had to pass over the controller? So this is a timed bomb. Now, in the original, it was in one second intervals, like beep, 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 beep. And of course, the when it beeped to green, it would be a different pitch. I was horrible with these. I guess I still am. My sister, on the other hand, was always good with these timing things. Okay, second try. Excellent! The first time I tried... Uh, yeah, the first time I tried that, I wound up about uh, five tries to get it right. Okay, so everybody's through. Everybody is done and through the portal. Excellent. Oh man, and then the backgrounds. The backgrounds look so much better. They look so good. Oh man, and I just like... Just the way I snap to the uh, place, it, it's amazing. Like, you have no idea how much better it is. Oh, sucks me, hand up. Something else that was kind of a hazard. Ugh. 